Oh, hello there, young man. You must be the gentleman that's taken my daughter Brittany out tonight. Pleasure to meet you. Come on in. You look very dapper tonight. Should be out in a minute. What was your name again? Ah, uh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> I was about to call... What's that? You're going to be late for what dinner reservation? The table for one? <laughs> Just be patient. Take a seat on the couch. You of all people should know what it's like to have to wait on a woman to make herself look pretty. Doesn't your mama usually put on makeup she buys at Sephora every Saturday by the mall? Next to the gym to go to work her night shift at that one establishment from 7pm to 4am Mondays through Thursdays? I said, doesn't your mom usually take up the restroom putting on her makeup? <laughs> like I said, just be patient, young man. If I can wait 330 years to live in a safe neighborhood and have a beautiful daughter like Brittany, you can wait an extra 30 minutes if she needs it. She's trying to do her best in looking good for you as well, instead of just for herself tonight. So that must mean something, right? <laughs> well, while we wait, tell me, what do you do for a living? Are you yet another aspiring TikToker or are you in school or... Oh, that's cool. Well, I wish you the best of luck. What do I do? <laughs> I don't have a quote-unquote typical job like most people do, but if I had to give it a name, I guess you could say I'm a bounty hunter of sorts. The people I hunt, well, let's just say they're also hunting me. And I know what you're going to say, and no, it's not the same as the police. So, spare me your virtue signaling, all of them are bastards nonsense. I'm very well aware of what human people are capable of. <laughs> Part of my job is to know what certain people are capable of once I get assigned them. When my daughter told me that you asked her out finally, instead of telling my daughter, Oh no, you're too young and you're not going to date until you're 50 and all that spiel, I simply asked for your name and bing bam boom, I found your socials. You really ought to update your passwords. What's the matter? Why are you doing that fuckboy cocky smile? You know, the last time someone smiled at me like that, nine months later my daughter was born. My wife and I don't mind getting our hands dirty in order to prove a point. It's 2022. We'll go whichever way we need to, cowboy, in order to correct any and all mistakes. I looked through your socials, even the ones you thought you could hide. You're quite the ladies' man. I remember one particular picture you were in where a lady and her daughter your mom was friends with had their arms and hands all over you. That was only a month ago. Around the same time my daughter said she met you. My wife and I agree that they were quite tasty. I said my wife and I agree that the foods they made were quite tasty. They seemed like nice people. Shame their socials were strangely deleted shortly around the same time. Anyways, do you have any other hobbies? You know, ones that I don't already know about. In the past, my daughter's number one complaint is the fact that all the men she's dated tend to taste boring, uh, have boring tastes and hobbies. I wouldn't consider my daughter to be high maintenance, but she's not one to just sit around all day playing Apex Legends from 11am to 7pm and maining Octane. <laughs> I told you. It's my job to know everything. Well, at least you have other hobbies. Not sure if my daughter has mentioned anything about me, but one of my hobbies is collecting. If it makes any sense, I hunt down and collect artifacts and or vintage objects. Essentially, it would be like you youngsters collecting Zunes and Motorola droids instead of trying to collect every color of the newest iPhone when they drop, like most of the greedy humans people in the world. Eh, well, yes and no. The artifacts and vintage objects I do hunt down are more in line with trophies. And no, 
not trophy hunting. I would never bring myself to hurt an animal. Uh, uh, look over there. Uh, over there. Take those two thermometers that are on my mantle. That is the first ever Fahrenheit thermometer that was invented by the German physicist Daniel Gabriel Fahrenheit in 1724. And then next to it is a Celsius thermometer by Swedish astronomer Anders Celsius, nearly almost 300 years ago. Can you believe that the mercury thermometers we have today go back this far? Hmm? <laughs> sure. Replicas. <laughs> As of lately, I've been adding more to my weapons collection I keep in my basement for safekeeping. But, thought I'd have to wait for another time. If there is another time. So, young man, is there anything else you want to share with me? Things that you're actually smart enough to not post online on your public and hidden accounts? You wouldn't hide anything from the father of the daughter you're about to be alone on a date with, right? Be an awful, awful shame if I had to pay your old lady a visit and have a one-on-one -on -one talk with her. Hmm. Well, stand up for a second. Here, let me help you with your shirt. <clears throat> shh, 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 don't worry. I'm simply ensuring my daughter's safety. This will only take a second. She comes now. Hey, Brittany. Hey, babe. How do I look? <laughs> Thank you. Okay, let's go. Let's not be late. Bye, Daddy. Alrighty then, Brittany. Stay safe. Young man, protect and take good care of my little girl, okay? Don't drink too many sodas. Hey, baby. What's that on your face? What a damn shame. I really was looking forward to seeing myself being wined and dined tonight. Good job, sweetheart. Now come on. Take his keys and get rid of his car while I take him to the basement. Damon was right. This is fun. <laughs> His blood will satiate us until your next date on Saturday. <laughs> Bless the people who created dating apps. <laughs> 